This is Will Ferris with DotWorks. I'm here with Jay Hilton, product engineer for the STXL. The STXL really brings to the table, uh, of course, our cool dome technology that DotWorks has been known for. So we're actively cooling the inside of this camera housing. And at the same time, what that does is with active cooling, we're able to bring the internal temperature down versus the outside temperature. What that does is it reduces some of the, uh, the noise that we may be getting inside the camera lens but also uh, helps the camera reliability by reducing the external temperature of the camera itself. So by thermally regulating the in interior of the camera housing, uh, we're providing a long-term reliability and a high performance uh, platform for these camera com lens combinations uh, that we see in the market today. One of, the, one of the things that comes up is, well, what makes this product uh, uh, unique and what, what challenges does it solve? Uh, I guess the long and short answer of that is that the STXL is designed to thermally regulate these very advanced camera combination, lens, cam lens camera combinations. Um, it also is uh, IP66 rated, so we're able to keep any kind of uh, contaminants out of the camera and the sensitive lensing. It makes the STXL different than that's on, currently on the market. Uh, the simple answer is, of course, we have the active cooling, we have the IP68, but we've, uh, real important, we have the room for this long, high range uh, camera lens combination that's so prevalent in the market today uh, so that we can get both the, uh, the big lenses, the big cameras um, inside the housing, but there's still room to work on the, on the cameras themselves. So for instance, if you have to add fiber or if you have to uh, add some sort of encoder um, with this type of technology, there is room inside the STXL for that uh, combination of technologies. So the, the question is, is what is the ideal market uh, or, or marketplace for this, uh, this type of combination of technologies? Uh, we see this uh, very, very active in, of course, the, uh, the border side, uh, where we're ever ha having to do wide area, long range shots. Um, we're also seeing this anywhere where you can't get the camera uh, close, but you do need the resolution detail. Um, so broadcast industries uh, is, uh, is really accepting of this but also uh, where that large uh, image or that, that 25 and plus megapixel image is needed for, uh, for getting the, the detail. Uh, uh, stadiums very popular with uh, traffic uh, and uh, like I said, uh, border protection, uh, marine of course too.